Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, Paul over here at Styrene Relics. And uh, there was a few guys at work that were pestering me about uh, the last video that they didn't get any stories behind it, so any of the builds. So I guess this one's for you guys. Um, so anyway, let's, uh, let's kind of get started here. Uh, these are the, uh, the, the four cars that I showed in the last video. Um, and I'll show you some of the up, some of the things that I've done to them. And, uh, and then I'll give you a little history lesson <laughs> that some of you guys may or may not know. I don't, I'm not sure. So anyways, what we've got here is, uh, this is the new a la carte that came out not, not that long ago. And, uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the a la carte, um, uh, truth be told, I, I, I'm not a big fan of George Barris's builds. That's hard to believe, but he's got a few of them that I like. But I didn't care for his TV build stuff. Uh, I, I just it just never appealed to me. Um, but you know everybody's different. So, anyways, I, I did see some stuff in this a la carte that I wanted to try, and what I wanted to do was try and do a. Uh, a, a, a mid to late 70s very early 80s kind of a build um, you know where the tires are out past the fenders and uh, big tires and it was just that kind of that way that's kind of the way the things were run so I did that and I changed up the grill let me see if I can get it in picture here changed up the grill uh, went with a 32 grill shell and uh, the truck grill uh, I changed up the headlights. I don't care for where they're mounted. They're behind the grill shell, and I'd rather have them up front or equal to the grill shell on the side. But uh, that's where they could mount, if you notice, it's where the frame was. So that's the only place where I could mount them. I, I guess I could have put them up on the the, shock, the spring, uh, spring perches there, but... I, I didn't want to do that. It just it just didn't look good to me at all. So they're back behind it for the time being until I come up with a better idea. Uh, so you know that's that's it. I, I didn't really change up the body any. Um, I did foil this and and the tailgate in the back. I foiled it instead of the decals. Uh, I just didn't care for the decals. Uh, you know again that's just me. Uh, so it's I guess. An a la carte, but it's not. I mean, I changed up the, the, the grill shell and all that. Uh, let's see, what else I do? It looks like it's pretty much right out of the box on the bottom. So, yeah, that's where it, where it was. Um, I have stated in the past that I'm not a fan of pastels. And this one's very close to being a pastel. <laughs> so, but it... I sprayed a fifty. Uh, I sprayed a, a, a Studebaker with this, and it turned out really nice. Thought maybe I'd use it on here, but for some reason it looks more pastel-y to me, and I, I'm just not that fan of that. But I, again, everybody's different. So, anyways, that's that's that new uh, a la carte, and this one is the old a la carte. Here's the box right here. So. This one I did not build. This is my brother-in-law's build uh, from many years ago. And he built it as, uh, uh, they, they called it the Mod Rod. And uh, so that one's kind of cool. It is not painted. Uh, what you're looking at is the old uh, plastic. It's kind of got a little patina to it now. And I love the fact that he's used baby corduroy. And where he found purple baby corduroy, I'll never know. But that is really cool. I've got some corduroy. Uh, it's white, and now it's turned yellow from age. But uh, really cool build. Um, the only thing that I did do, uh, the Mod Rod uh, came with two carburetors. And he had a blower on it, and I really wanted to make it a, a real Mod Rod. So I went ahead... And pulled the blower off it and put the two carburetors on. Outside of that, uh, it's exactly the way he had it. Uh, the oh yeah, I wanted to say right in the back. 
there was another little tail light it's supposed to go over here in this tiny little hole uh, I I put it on there and <laughs> for some reason my big fat fingers knocked it off and it's in my display case somewhere and I can't find it can't find it for nothing but I know it's in there so we'll find it one day and I'll get it put back on so there's that build that that's the, the original uh, a la carte but you could build it either the mod rod or the uh, a la carte so what I want to do real quick here is show you some differences this is the new one opposed to the old one uh, Paul you just ah uh, oh well I'll show you in a minute see you get these things out you tear them up okay all right the old one the coil springs are have cans over them okay and the new a la carte did not see it's got got the coils showing uh, another difference is the uh, interior on the on the old ones is actually bigger than the new one and why I can tell you is it's the width will not fit in the new body it has to have the old body for the old interior to fit uh, the old interior also see the how thick it is from here to here from the body the cushions alright here's the new one and much much thinner there's a, there's a lot of difference between here and here now and it's narrower from here to here uh, I, another thing that I'm not 100% sure on is this looks like, uh, I don't know, 49 Mercury girl, steering wheel opposed to the three, a uh, three spoke steering wheel that's in it with the cone. Uh, yeah, I, that I don't remember if that, if that was just an option or what, I, I, I can't quite pull a finger on that one. Here's another one, another cool, this is one that is really cool. A lot of guys don't know this. Uh, the fenders on the originals, it has that lip right here, all the way around the outside edge, even on the back. And the new ones does not. It's kind of hard to show, but there's no lip right here on the new ones. So you'll you'll tell that right away too, if, if you get an old one or a new one. Now, the, the last and most importantly is the size of the engine. Now, you guys may have already caught this, but uh, the valve cover here is much bigger on the original than it is on the new one. The new one, the engine is infinitely smaller. <laughs> I, I don't know what scale that is, but it's it's tiny so that that's another thing that's always keep in mind uh, I don't know what uh, AMT was thinking when they come out with that second a la carte but that's it and then this one I just knocked the bumper off a second ago so anyways we'll just pretend that it's there so I bought this down at the Macomb show uh, several years ago and it came in this box which is kind of cool because it says 97 cents stamped right on it. Uh, this one was a, 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 it looked like it'd been dropped and it was in really bad shape. Uh, a lot of pieces were off it. Uh, the fender had been broken off and it, it, it ripped, looked like it ripped into the paint because uh, I think he had molded it in or something. Uh, the chop top was broke off, and uh, there was a uh, top that he had put on it in a, in a firewall, and it was peeling uh, really bad, and part of it was ripped up in here. So really what I had bought was a, a box full of parts, and an idea in my head was to rebuild what the guy did the best of my ability. So... Uh, what I did was I went ahead and took all the parts and I fixed the top, put the fender back on, and 
now I have to repaint it. And then there was, I looked and looked and I couldn't get the right green, but I did come very, very close. This one has a little more metal flake in it than what I wanted, but it works. And so I went ahead and put everything on. Uh, it was missing one bumper, <laughs> kind of like it is now. And uh, so I had an extra bumper and I cut it and put it on until I knocked it off just a second ago. And I had another bumper to match the back. So I cut it and put it on. Everything else was in the box. So I knew what the guy had going. So I did everything back the way he had it. So, and like I said, this, this was ripped. And so I cut a piece, a uh, top of vinyl and put that up there. And then I, I, I white glued uh, the vinyl on the firewall as, as well. So I, I feel like I restored the guy's build to the way he had it uh, to the best of my ability. So I, I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying that that one is not really a survivor, but uh, a rebuild of what the guy had. And what, what's really, another thing that's kind of cool, I just noticed, uh, he had the red line tires here and Firestone slicks in the back, which I thought was just super cool. So... Yeah, that one I I, I, I think that I say, oh, and, and the sad thing is, just as soon as I got it all put back together, let me zoom in here, I get it all together, and I put the glass in, and it popped right there. So I could start all over and do it again, but, you know, it's it's all right. It, it's a nice shelf queen, so I'm just leaving it. And then I've got a little coffin. Uh, had a lot of guys ask me about this. Uh, that's right out of the box. I didn't do anything with it. Uh, it's an old build. Uh, the box is from 85, I think. But I had one prior to it. And I can't remember if this one is it or the 85. But at any rate, uh, this is the only one I have left. Uh, I've got some parts of little coffins. Every time I see one, I buy it. Uh, bet you can't guess why. <laughs> you got to have that engine, and you got to have those slicks and white walls, man. So I gobble them up every time I see them. But I have been kicking around the idea of buying one more kit and building it uh, as I with my, I don't know, massage gift <laughs> or whatever since i've grown up uh I, I should be a little better than i was when i built this one so hopefully i uh, if i get one here uh i'm gonna try and try and build one more so and, and if i do uh, i may try and wire it uh and maybe plumb it a little bit i'm not sure how i'll go about it but uh that, that's the plan on that so anyways those are the four cars that i did that little montage with here not too long ago. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I really do. Uh, I hope this satisfies a couple of guys that were asking about the cars. So, uh, hey, if you like what you saw, subscribe. And uh, give me a like or, or dislike. I, I'm thick-skinned. I don't care. Uh, everything helps. So, all right, guys. You guys have a good, uh, good afternoon, and I'll talk at you later.